What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Re mini map, or Re's mini map, however, however it's pronounced. And uh, what this does is it adds a mini map to Minecraft. This mini map does have a lot of features. You can change the skin of it, you can make it to where it shows where mobs are, you can make it um, uh, to where it shows uh, only the mobs you want to show up. Uh, just a whole bunch of different options. So you can see I have it up in the top right hand corner and if we go ahead and hit M this will bring up the options and uh, you could turn it off if you want and you could change the render type to surface or biome or temperature, humidity, cave um, so those are the render types you can turn on the death point this would be a good thing to uh, have on if you're gonna venture far away from uh, your house or whatever and you happen to die you can go back and collect all your items after you die and uh, we have the minimap options we can change it to round or back to square and we can change it to the Xan minimap um, look we can change the position of it we can change the scale uh, we could change um, oh opacity. I think that's how it's pronounced. Which would make basically makes it as you can see uh, how much you are able to see through it. Uh, this doesn't really do much that you can see. And um, yeah, that's just like when you have a large map. Filtering again, not too much you can see. If you have it disabled, you can see that it is quite clear. Uh, you could have it show the coordinates, which is this right here. You could have different types um, disabled. There'd be less there. Uh, menu key, so you can turn off all the text below it. Font scale. Let me just turn this back on. It'll change the uh, font scale there. And um, yeah, you can zoom in. Just a whole bunch of options here and if we go to surface map options we can do the lighting we have a dynamic daytime nighttime and you can see when it's nighttime it'll show you where lights are or disabled and it'll just show um, pretty much everything just without any lighting effects uh, and then there's the lighting types we could change the terrain the terrain depth um, the transparency, transparency, the environment color. So there's like a, a lot of different things here. One quick thing I want to show you um, is the waypoints. You can add a waypoint. We'll name this waypoint just whatever. <laughs> you can change the color of it to whatever color you want. Let's just make it a. Okay. Let me hit back and then exit menu. And you can see that the waypoint stays there. And on the minimap, you can also see it. So that's a good feature if you happen to travel far away from your spawn point and you want to get back to something. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the preview here. I think I've already taken a little bit too much time on showing you guys that. So I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar, and after I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these programs do work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial, and the only thing you're going to need to download is the Rez minimap itself. And to get Rez minimap, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. And you're just going to scroll down to where you see download and just go ahead and click on the um, for Minecraft 1.1 and just go ahead and click on download. And this will take us over to an add craft. And you scroll down and it'll say wait three seconds. And in between these two ads you'll see a download mod. Just go ahead and click on download mod and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download Reason Minimap. Now when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Type in percent app data percent, just like this down here, and then we'll go ahead and go into our roaming. Then open your dot Minecraft. Now open your bin, and left click your Minecraft jar. Then right click it and do open with, and select whatever archiving program you're using. I am using WinRAR, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Drag your Minecraft jar to the side. 
Now your bin, we don't need this anymore, so we can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Reeves Minimap and highlight these two files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Now you can go ahead and close Reeves Minimap. Now you should see a folder in your Minecraft jar that says Meta Inf. If you do not have this folder in your Minecraft jar, you can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is left click it, then right click it and do delete files and then select yes. And that will delete Meta Inf. You want to make sure you always delete Meta Inf when you're installing a mod. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash and have a black screen. So after you, ah, bleh, after you delete Meta Inf, you are done installing this mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.